Neuroscientists out there may have a very powerful suggestion to habitual smokers. And that suggestion being, quit slowly, very slowly. Why are neuroscientists saying this? Well, let's look at the research. In an article published this January 21st, 2015, in the Journal of Cerebral Blood Flow and Metabolism, you get the hint there, titled, Neuroscience Researchers Believe in Quitting Smoking Gradually. A little repetitive there. The citation title, as always stated below, is Smoking Normalizes Cerebral Blood Flow and Oxygen Consumption After 12-Hour Abstention. That citation title is a little misleading. You'll understand why in a second. What neuroscientists did is they put the brains of smokers under a brain scan to determine its blood flow and what happens after they quit smoking abruptly. This is what they discovered. And it's kind of scary. Regular smokers experience an almost dementia-like condition in the early hours after quitting, as suggested by brain scans. This can be quite an unpleasant experience. Yeah, all right, we've got that. And it's probably one of the reasons why it can be very difficult to quit smoking once and for all, especially if you're trying to work and stay productive. How much is it reduced blood flow? According to researchers, it reduces blood flow to the brain by 17% within hours after you stop smoking. That's part of the reason why they have to go back. It's not so much even craving the cigarettes anymore, researchers are speculating. It's the fact is just to maintain an operational capacity, they have to keep on smoking to keep that blood flowing to the brain. And to go a little further, they said this, habitual smokers seemingly need to continue smoking just to keep their brain functioning normally. So with time, they may become less dependent on smoking, but the researchers still do not know how long it takes for the brain to come back to normal or regain its normal energy consumption. To end and conclude what the researchers advice was this, we assume that it takes weeks or months, but we do not know for sure. The new findings suggest that it may be a good idea to stop smoking gradually, simply to avoid the worst withdrawal symptoms that make it so difficult to stick to the otherwise very sensible decision to stop smoking. So you have your friend or family member that is quitting smoking, be a little tolerant and recognize that there's some issues going on behind the scenes that makes it more than just a simple willpower initiative. This is Ralph Turchiano signing off once again.